Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on how to create a products on Vendor Center. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to create products on Vendor Center as a single product. The first interface you are looking at here is the first page you would see once you log into Vendor Center on your mobile phone. You would see this first page looking exactly like this. To create a product on Vendor Center, you need to click on Menu and click on Products, then click on Add Products. When you click on that, it brings you to this page. Then, when you click on Add Products here, it brings you directly to this section. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have gone ahead to populate most of the information that is required in all of the sections, and you would see that on a different page we are going to show you. Before we go ahead, I'll just explain the first details we are looking at here. The first thing you are seeing here is the image section. Here you can see that there are four boxes with the positive sign. This means you can actually tap on any of these boxes and it will take you to a location on your device where those images are saved and you can upload them here. Bear in mind that the minimum and maximum dimension for images is stated here as well. As you can see, 500 by 500, 2000 by 2000 pixels, and the maximum image size is two megabytes, including details about watermarks and also recommended white background. A quick website where you can get to resize your product images is bullcrussizephotos.com. I will say that again, bullcrussizephotos.com. There, you can easily specify the dimensions that you want your images to be, and it will resize it accordingly. If you click on the positive sign here, it will take you to a location where the images are saved, as earlier stated, and you can simply add the images. When you do that, you would get the image uploaded like this. This means you have image 1, image 2, image 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 updated after clicking on the sign. The next section you will need to go to is your product name. For product naming, it is best to make sure that the product names conform to our product naming convention. This means that you are not including the brand name, you are only stating the model of the phone, which in this case is Galaxy A04e. The next thing you need to do is add the screen size. Bear in mind that this tutorial is using a mobile phone as an example. For other categories, they also have a unique product naming convention. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use a mobile phone. Add the RAM and ROM size just like this. Then you add the operating system. And the last thing you need to do is add space hyphen space then the exact color. Next, select the category of the phone which is already selected here like we have seen. Once that is selected, you will be able to see Android phones, then select Android phones. Next, you need to input the brand name, which is a drop down. Start typing any brand name and it would automatically show you the autocomplete options that are relating to that brand name and you can easily select that. Then the next thing is the color, which is also a text field. You also have to update that as blue. The exact weight of the device, which you can find if it's a very popular device. You can find it on the official website of the phone. Then you update also the color family. Now for the product description, the first thing you want to do is add text and also images, a complete set of images for that. What we did was we went ahead to add details of the mobile phone, as you can see at the top here, with a few of them highlighted in bold for search engine optimization purposes. Then we also went ahead to add the official image from the website, which we just took a screenshot of, and we added it underneath this section. Now, to do this, you would need to make sure that you have saved that image by screenshotting the entire page from the website and pasting it on a Google Doc. When you paste it on a Google Doc, it pastes as an image. When you copy that image and paste it here, it will paste the image in itself directly into this field here. Now, the next section is your highlights. Your highlights should always be in bullet points, which we have carefully done here as well for this mobile device, as you can see here. When you're done with that, you click Next. It will take you to the next page, where you would see the Variation section and the Seller SKU section. For the Seller SKU, you can update that yourself. You can create custom Seller SKUs. And your GTN barcodes are always very important. You need it for every device that is created. The Global Trade Item Number is very important. That's what GTIN translates to. Global Trade Item Number. These are unique numbers for every product, especially for international brands like Samsung. They all have global trade item numbers. 
The next thing you want to do is add the quantity and the price. If you are not running a sale, there's no need to update the sale price. As you can see, it is not required because it doesn't carry the asterisk sign. When you're done with this, you go to the next page, which is the last page where you have all that details of the phone. For example, certifications. You can see here under this field, this is required to increase listing quality. Any of these fields that says required to increase listing quality will actually help you give your customers more information about the product that you are creating. Now, as far as certifications go, you can look that up online for the brands that you are listing if they have any certifications. For Samsung, they have an eco-friendly certification. That's why this is updated here. Main material is plastic. The model, again, we updated that here. The country of production is Vietnam for Samsung. The dimensions we got from the website directly, which we updated here. The warranty, one year. And you also have to specify the warranty type. The warranty duration is one year. Specify the warranty type, which is service center in this case. Carlcare offers a service center and repair services for Samsung and Lagos. Then for the YouTube ID, the YouTube ID is always the last alphanumeric digits or details at the end of the URL of any YouTube link. You can easily copy that and paste it here if the device has an official YouTube video. In this device's case, there's no official YouTube video on Samsung's website. Then you also have to update the chipset. All of this information updated here is super important, especially for mobile phones, because this will also help the customer understand what they are getting and the details of what they are buying for this phone. Then you also have to update the storage capacity, which we already highlighted before. The RAM, the condition is brand new. The CPU is Okta. The network coverage is 4G. CPU speed 2.3 gigahertz. If you have any of all of this other information, it is best to also update them here. We moved ahead to the operating system, which we updated as Android, then the screen size, which we updated as 6.5, and also the CPU brand. Now, the last thing we updated here is the what's in the box, which is very important to the customer as well, smartphone and the cable, which is what comes with most Samsung phones these days, and also the product warranty duration, again, and the warranty address, which in this case is CarlCare. When you are done with this, all you have to do is click on the submit button here. Once you click on the submit button, it goes directly to the quality control queue. It takes 24 hours for the product to be reviewed. If it meets all the product image and content guidelines that are required for that product, it is going to be approved and your product to be live in 24 hours. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.